all so you guys can. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Yoga Sunday. Happy Sunday. We have about a minute before we start. Um, just a few reminders that yoga is just for a time for you to create space for yourself. Um, if you need support, feel free to have blocks or straps or blankets or pillows nearby. Um, it's optional. Sometimes I'll, you know, instruct on how to use them for supporting your body um, so that you're in a comfortable position throughout class. Um, otherwise, uh, yoga is not a competition. So just have fun and allow yourself to just be without any labels. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get started. We're going to start off in a seated meditation just to get ourselves settled in. So you can come seated, cross-legged. You can sit on a pillow or a blanket. Um, you can come into child's pose or you can lay um, lie down on your back. So whatever feels comfortable for you, take in, check in with your body to see what it's asking you. And let's go ahead, take a couple of nice inhales and exhales and we'll get started. Hello. Hi, good morning. Yeah, I can't hear anything. Okay, go ahead, take a long inhale. And on your next exhale, make it long and smooth out. And when you're ready, go ahead and soften your eyes to a close. Or you can allow your gaze to come down three quarters of the way down towards the earth and start to notice your breath here. Breathe in, breathe out. And begin to check in to your body sensations. Taking notice from the crown of your head down to your face. Create some space along your jawline. Allow your shoulders to ease down away from your ears. And take another full breath in, noticing the rise of your chest. And on your exhale, make it long and slow, noticing your chest sinking, allowing your heart to fall back into place. And continue to Notice with each inhale, filling up your body with fresh air, allowing the air to make your body spacious all around the front body, the back. And as you exhale, allow yourself to sink a little bit deeper, noticing and feeling your sit bones anchoring down into this moment letting your legs root down. There's nothing to do, nothing to change. Allow yourself to come as you are in this moment. And with each exhale, letting go a little bit more. Breathing here. Allowing your focus to be on your breath. But know that if your mind starts to wander, that it is okay. And allow your next breath to create space between those thoughts. And as you exhale, let them go. Continue to breathe here. Inhaling, notice the fresh cold air entering through your nostrils. 
And as you exhale, your chest, your shoulders sinking down. And in this moment, as you are creating that space, that time for yourself, allow this moment to channel in something or someone you are grateful for. Allow yourself to begin this morning with gratitude. Inhale, lift your heart and hold it at the top. Allow your heart to feel that openness. And as you exhale, let that gratitude, that joy, that peace illuminate and radiate out through your body. Connecting you with those next to you, allowing the earth beneath us to rise up to meet us and also to connect all of us here today. Again, breathe in. Rise up, be grateful for what you have. Notice and recognize all the blessings around you. Whether that be your coffee this morning, the friends and family you're with, the bright sunshine outside, whatever it may be, it doesn't have to be grand, but allow yourself to recognize and identify the blessings around you. Allow yourself to pause, take notice. When you sit in stillness and allow yourself to slow down, you will be able to identify and see and sense all the blessings around you. Allow yourself to recognize your worth, your value, your beauty. Inhale, breathe it in. Allow it to flow and thrive inside you. And as you exhale, root down, sink down, and let it radiate out for you, sharing it with the world, connecting you with your loved ones, with your friends. Breathe in here. Exhaling here. And with each inhale, see if you can lift and open your heart just a little bit more, allowing yourself to be open in this moment, allowing yourself the opportunity for new ventures, new experiences without any judgment, without changing anything, and just be. Take a smooth inhale into the nose and slow, long exhale out. When you're ready, gently flutter your eyes and open and allow your surrounding to come to you as is. Take a moment, draw the corners of your mouth up and smile. As inhale, arms up, reach up, give yourself a nice morning stretch, gaze up, spread your fingers wide. Again, bring in, identify something, someone you're grateful for. And as you exhale, bring your palms together and bring that blessing down to your heart. Two more times, inhale, arms wide, reach up and bring it down. One more time, inhale wide, and exhale down. Let's go ahead and lengthen our arms wide. Open, spread your palms wide, spread your fingertips, and draw your shoulder blades behind you together, giving yourself a nice front opening here. And in this moment, channel that someone you are grateful for, and as you exhale, when you bring your arms over and hug that person. Hug it tight, draw your shoulder blades behind you apart. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, open the arms wide once more. And this time, I want you to hug yourself, alternate crossing of the arms. Hug yourself, draw the corners of your mouth up and smile. 
Recognize the value of your worth. Inhale, open wide again. Bring your arms up towards the sky. And as your eyes out, hinge forward, touch down. Plant your palms down, let your gaze fall down. And again, sense the earth beneath your palms and fingertips. Recognize that the earth here is connecting all of us. So let's go ahead and channel in that connection. Lean in, share our love, our bright light with each other. Take another full breath in, full breath out. Let's inhale, reach our arms back up towards the side. And as you exhale, open twist to the right side. Allow your hands to land gently and naturally down. Right hand behind you, left hand on the outside of the right knee. Inhale, lengthen, gaze over your right shoulder as you exhale, holding that twist a little bit further. Engaging the core, starting to activate and massaging your spinal internal organs as well. Let's inhale, lift the heart, reach the arms back up towards the side. And as you exhale, open twist to the left side. Again, allowing your right hand to land on the outside of that left knee, left hand behind you, lifting, propping you up. And again, inhale to lift the heart. As you exhale, twist a little bit further. Noticing the sensations along your body and check back into the quality of your breath. Let's go ahead and inhale, reach back up towards the sky. Beautiful day. And as you exhale, hinge for once more here. Touch down. And again, in this moment here, channel in that love. We all have it. It's inside of our heart. Allow yourself to go deeper, root down, and know that you are beautiful inside and out. Let's go ahead and inhale, reach your arms back up towards the sky, bring the palms together, heart center. Now I want you to inhale, reach up, and then bring your hands in front of you. Lengthen them in front of you, okay, both arms. Now, with your right arm, press the palm forward, and bring your left hand to kind of reach and flex your palm, your right palm forward. So if you have tennis elbows, you know, this is a good stretch. Right, oftentimes we get those carpal tunnel from typing, sitting on our desk. So I want you to really draw your palm forward, give it a nice stretch, breathe here, check back in with your breath, full breath in, full breath out. And as you exhale, alternate, let your right fingertips press, uh, point down, and then we're just gonna pressing it down here. Again, reach your right arm forward, massaging it here. And take a moment, breathe in, and as you exhale, release, let's do the other side. Press your left palm forward, and then using your right hand, just bend your fingertips back. Again, reaching for lengthening. Feel that lengthening from your shoulder blades out towards you. And again, keep your spine lifted, root down, breathe here. And as you exhale, let's go ahead and point our left hand down, palm facing you. Breathe in, allow the air to fill you up, allow the love to guide you down through your arms and fingertips. And then one more breath in as you exhale, slowly release. Inhale, arms up, reach up. This time, bend the right arm behind you. And then using your left hand, go ahead and grab that right elbow and you just kind of reach and pull it over to the left side. A nice side bend stretch as well. Again, keep your spine lengthened if you can. Check back in with your breath. One more breath in. And as you exhale, slowly release, shake it out. Inhale the arms back up. And then let's do the left side, bend the left arm. And using your right hand, grab your left elbow and then just a little bit side bend over to the right side. Breathe in, lift your heart. Notice your breath, the quality of your breath. And as you exhale, slowly release. Let's go ahead and release our hands onto our knees and we're gonna hinge our heart forward. Seated cat cow. Exhale, doming that spine, chin to chest. Again, inhale, heart forward, full breath in. And as you exhale, doming that spine. Again, one more time on each side. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, doming that spine. And then again, on your next inhale, just come to neutral spine. Inhale, lift the heart and hold it at the top. And exhale, release. Let's inhale, shrug our shoulders up. 
and back down, up and down. Couple more times, inhale, up and down. One more time, up and down. Now I want you to look over to your right side. We're working on our neck now, massaging your neck. Look over to the right, continue to sit up nice and tall. Breathe in here and exhale, come to center. Inhale to the left and hold it here. You may notice, check in, what sensations, right? How does one side compare to the other? We're just taking notice, studying our body. And by studying our body, we're bringing self-love and attention. Inhale, back to center. And again, one more time on the right side. Breathe in. Exhale to center. And one more time on the left side. Breathe in here. Lengthen the sides of your neck. And as you exhale, allow your chin to drop down. Look down towards the left side. And then slowly trace your collarbone. Stretching out the back of your neck as you trace your collarbone all the way to the right side. Hold it there on the right side. Inhale, and exhale again. Slowly trace your collarbones all the way to the left. One more time. Trace it back to the right side. Noticing your neck. Now this time, when you're on your right, I want you to go all the way, circle all the way, gaze up, stretching out your throat with control. Again, clockwise rotation all the way around. Give yourself a nice neck massage here, right? And again, without any judgment, just taking notice of where your body needs some attention. Let's come back to the right side and then slowly trace your collarbone all the way to the left. And then go ahead, counterclockwise, rotate, massaging your neck. There is hope, right? So in this moment, if you're noticing areas where your body is experiencing some tension, some pain, I want you to breathe in patience, breathe in love, and know that you are taking this time to recognize what you need and that it takes time to heal your body. And by showing up today, that is what you're doing. You're taking this intentional action to bring attention, to heal your body. Let's go ahead and inhale to center, look forward. Inhale the arms by one more time. Reach out, give yourself a nice stretch on all four sides of your torso, bring the palms down, heart center. Let's come onto our hands and knees into cat and cow, tabletop here. So stack your wrists, remove any prop you have. Stack your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees hip width apart. Inhale, raise your tailbone, drop your belly and gaze up. Keep those arms long and lengthen, press down against the earth, spread your fingertips wide. Give yourself a nice back bend massage. And as you exhale, chin to chest, doming that belly. Now notice your arms. Are they collapsing a little bit when you're in cat? If so, I want you to keep them strong and lengthened. Inhale, back to cow. Inhale, into cat. Go ahead and alternate between cat and cow at your own pace. Check into the quality of your breath. And again, check back into those arms. I want you to start activating them, keeping them lengthened, energized. Noticing, are they still strong and rooted down as you transition from cat and cow? And again, most importantly, your breath. The superpower of the breath. One more time on each side. And then go ahead and inhale to neutral tabletop. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back into our first downward dog of the morning. You may need to adjust your stance and that's okay. Go ahead and walk your dog. Allow your heart to draw closer to your thigh and then take it slow. Maybe draw one heel down, noticing, giving yourself a nice morning calf stretch. Allow the space to be created, to lengthen and alternate lengthening the other calf. Breathe here, stay in your downward dog. Breathe here. And if you notice your spine is rounding, allow your knees to bend in slightly and breathe into that space. Lengthen the spine, root down, push your hips up and away. On your next inhale, let's come to high plank here. Hold it in high plank. Now start to activate your core. Draw the navel towards the spine. Untuck your chin so that your neck and spine are aligned. Breathe in. And as you exhale, release the knees, untuck the toes, and then go ahead and lower through your chaturanga. 
inhale, baby cobra, or you can lengthen the arms to cobra. And lastly, if you have space, press down on the top of your feet to lift your kneecaps and thighs into upper facing dog. Spread your collarbone wide, take a moment to breathe in. And as you exhale, let's come into downward facing dog. Let your head hang, draw your gaze between your legs. Inhale, back to high plank. Downward facing dog. We're gonna do this two times to warm up our shoulders. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. One more time, inhale, high plank. Now this time, yogi's choice, you can keep the knees up or you can release them down as you go through your chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra, cobra, or upward facing dog. And exhale, into downward facing dog. Hold your full breath in. And inhale, high plank. Yogi's choice, release the knees down or keep them lifted, lower through your chaturanga. Upper facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here, hold it here for a moment. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward and travel to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Your hands can be on your shin, on your fingertips, on the floor or on blocks. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana here. Lengthen your spine. One more inhale, your exhale, hug it in, Uttanasana, chest to thigh. Root down and slowly rise all the way up. Reach up, palms together, heart center. We're gonna continue warming up our body through sun salutation A. Inhale, the arms wide. Reach up, lengthen. As you exhale, hinge, bend the knees, fall forward, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant the palms, step back, runner's lunge, and then into high plank. Now, yogi's choice, like we did earlier, you can go release the knees down as you go through your chaturanga, or you can keep them up. Inhale to the cobra, or upper facing dog, and downward facing dog. Now, hold it in downward dog for five full breaths. Breathe in fully, check into the quality of your breath. Lengthen your shoulder blades down along your spine. Full breath in, full breath out. Now throughout the practice, if you need to take a, a break, you can always come into child pose. Warm or full breath, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward and travel up towards your hands. Beautiful, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Hug it in and then root down and rise up. Palms together, car center. Begin again, inhale, reach up. Breathe in, exhale, swan dive down. Forward fold here, beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift, and then go through your chaturanga. If you know the sequence, allow yourself to flow freely. If you do not know the sequence, bring in compassion, non-judgment, and allow yourself to practice patience as you learn yourself being in this new journey. Now, when you come into downward dog, allow yourself to hold it there in five full breaths. Root down, reset, check back in with your breath. You can even walk the dog. And then when you're ready, you can hop or walk up towards your hands into halfway lift. Hug it in and then root down and rise up again. Everyone's looking great. Good job, Henry. Thomas, Buns and Guns crew, they're looking amazing. Again, take your time. Allow yourself, everybody rise. That is what we're doing this morning. Recognize your effort. Recognize your effort and rise. Rise higher. Together we rise. We are all connected. And remember that you are never alone. Time when you feel alone, I want you to take a pause. Let the earth come up to meet you. And remember, the earth is what connects all of us. This is your time. You know, they say that you are the creator of your own world. 
So ask yourself, what is the intention? How are you going to show up today? And again, sometimes we forget that we are all surrounded by blessings. So channel that. If you are struggling or if you have some challenging emotions, reactions to things, see if you can practice being open and breathe in the blessings around you. And then see how that affects you. On your last set, allow yourself to meet me in downward facing dog. Take your time, there's no hurry. Okay? Once you're in downward dog, take a full inhale here and open mouth exhale. Inhale, put your right leg up behind you, three legged dog. Exhale, step through. Spin the back foot down. We're gonna come into warrior two. Very Badrasana too. Beautiful. Draw your gaze down your right hand. Torso centered. Inhale, breathe here. Soften your shoulders, soften your face. Exhale, reverse warrior. Left hand down, reach up with your right. Gaze up, lengthen your side body from your hip joints all the way to your right fingertips. Breathe in as you exhale, forearms to side. Inhale, lengthen your left arm over your left ear. Now draw the left shoulders up and back, opening up your front body here. Breathe in and try not to collapse into that right arm. Breathe in fully. Now, engaging the core, root down through your right foot, the bottom arm out. And root down, be intentional, root down. And slowly, as you engage your core with control, come back to center. Palm together, we're gonna side lunge to the back of the mat, Sandasana. Lengthen your right leg out. Breathe here. Soften your shoulders, one more breath in. And as you exhale, travel to the front of your mat into runner's lunge. And the left palm, we're gonna come into a twist here. Reach your right arm up. One more inhale as you exhale, plant the right palm. Step back to high plank and go through your vinyasa, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and then meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, float your left leg back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through, warrior two. Spin the back foot down and peel open to warrior two. Varabhadrasana two. Beautiful. Reverse warrior here. Exhale, extend this thigh angle. Draw your gaze up towards the sky. Draw the right shoulders up and back to open up the front body. Breathe here. And then again, root down through the left foot. Engage the core. Lengthen your bottom arm out. Inhale back to center. And Sandasana to the front of your, to the back of your mouth. Reach, turn around. Runner's lunge into that twist. Reach up with the left hand. Beautiful. One more full breath in. As you exhale, go ahead and plant that palm down. Go through vinyasa, chaturanga, high to low. Again, yogi choice to release the knees down as you travel. And meet in downward facing dog. And we begin again. Inhale, right leg up, three legged dog. Exhale, step through, spin into Virabhadrasana too. Reverse warrior here. Extend the thigh angle. Root down, lengthen the bottom arm out. Engage your core as you come to center and thigh lunge the back. Rotate to the front of the mat. Runner's lunge, plant the left palm, reach up with the right. Exhale, plant the right palm. Go through vinyasa, high to low, chaturanga. We'll do the left side, left leg up, three-legged dog, step through, spin the back foot down, warrior two, Varabhadrasana two. Reverse warrior. Extend the side angle. The long, the bottom arm, and come to center. Side lunge to the back of the mat, Sandasana. Travel to the front of the mat, plant your right palm, reach up with your left, twist here. And one more full breath as you exhale. 
plant your palms, go through your vinyasa, high to low. In your downward dog, take a full inhale in and open mouth exhale. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward, travel towards your hands. Halfway lift here, hug it in, and then root down and rise all the way up. Exhale, release. Inhale, the arms wide again. And this time, as you exhale, I want you to bring your hands behind your low back, interlace your fingers, draw the knuckles down to open up your heart. Breathe in, and as you exhale, bend the knees, hinge forward down to a four fold drawing your knuckles up towards the sky let your head hang here now take notice try to draw your shoulder blades together opening up the front part of your body breathe in one more full breath and as you exhale release the interlace and come into chair pose here lengthening your arms alongside your ear or it can come into anjali mudra prayer hand hold here full breath in and as you exhale, root down and rise up. Together, heart center. One more time. Inhale, arms wide. As you exhale, I want you to do the opposite interlace. So the opposite thumb on top. Draw the knuckles down. Gaze up. Open up the heart. And as you exhale, bend the knees. Hinge forward. Come all the way down. Drawing the knuckles up towards the side. Let your head hang. Inhale. And as you exhale, release the hands, root down, and come into chair pose here. Hold it in chair, soften your shoulders, engage the core, take notice. What are you feeling right now? One more full breath. As you exhale, root down and rise up. Palms together, heart center. Inhale, arms wide, one more time. Exhale, sink back down into chair pose. Inhale, rise up. Now, one more time. Bring your palms to prayer. And then go ahead and twist over to the right side. Left elbow onto the outside of that right knee into prayer twist. Seated prayer twist here. Okay? Now, notice your palms. Allow yourself to press against your palms. Draw your gaze over your shoulder. Hold it here, feeling that connection. Breathe in. Full breath. And as you exhale, root down and rise up. And then exhale, bring the palms together. Sink back down and twist over to the left side. Right elbow to the outside of that left knee. And again, check in with your knees. I want you to draw your glute back, right? So your knee should be stacked over your ankle. Breathe here. One more inhale. And as you exhale, slowly root down, rise back up towards the side. Inhale, draw your right knee up towards your chest. Standing left leg strong and lengthen. Bring that right ankle on top of that left knee and sink down into figure four here. Draw your glutes back. Now, you can hold it here in figure four. If you have space, you can come into that twist. Draw your right elbow to the outside of that right foot. If you have space. If not, that's okay. You're, that's, this is where you are in your journey, right? One more full breath in. And as you exhale, root down, rise up. Release that right leg back down, touch down. And we'll do the left side. Inhale the arms up. Draw the left knee up. Cross it on the top of the right knee and sink down. Okay? And if you have space, bring that left elbow to the outside of that left foot into a twist. If you have space. One more breath in. Exhale, slowly root down, rise up. Inhale the arms wide. Exhale, hinge forward, fall forward. Now meet me in high plank. So plant your palms and step back into high plank here. Release your chin, untuck your chin from your chest. Inhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. We're gonna come into lizard pose, but release that left knee down, okay? Hold it here in lizard. Breathe into that right hip flexor area. 
soften your shoulders, relax your face, and relax your jaw. Now, if you have space, you can bend that left leg, reach your right hand forward, and sweep it behind, grabbing that left foot, giving yourself a nice hip flexor opener on the left side. Press your left foot against your hand as you open that side up. Breathe here. Now, only if you have space. If you need some cushioning for your left knee, you can fold your mat or you can use a blanket. Now take a moment to just breathe into this. One more full breath in. And as you exhale, slowly release. Put your palm back down and bring yourself with control back into the high plank. And then I will do the left side. Step your left foot to the outside of the left hand. Release the right knee down. Lizard pose here. Breathe here for a moment. Breathe into the left hip opener. Soften your shoulders. And then again, if you have space, you can bend that right leg, extend your left arm, sweep it behind to catch that right foot. Okay? And again, draw your right hip flexors down towards the earth. And then press, push your feet, your foot against that hand. Breathe here. Take notice of your body. And again, allow yourself to meet where you're at. You are healing, you are whole. Even when we're healing, we are whole. We're not broken. We're very whole and so just accept that and know that. Take another full breath in. And as you exhale, slowly release. But go ahead, tuck your back toe, bring yourself to back to the high plank and downward dog. Inhale, step your right foot to the outside of the right hand, and then the left foot to the outside of the left hand. We're gonna come into Malasana, squat, okay? So you can use your block, you can stack it if you need to. Bring your hands to prayer and draw your elbows against the knees, okay? So if you have blocks, you can raise the earth to meet you where you are at. Otherwise, squat here, your heels are down. If your heels are lifted, you can tuck blankets underneath to support them. And again, breathe in compassion. Allow yourself to meet you where you're at without any judgment. And take a moment as you inhale, draw the corners of your mouth up and smile. One more full breath in. And as you exhale, release the hands down towards the earth and slowly root down and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Your shoulders up, down. One more time, inhale, shrug it up and down. And let's go ahead, heel toe, our feet until they're hip width. Draw your right knee up towards your chest. I'm gonna face this way, okay? Inhale, we're gonna slowly kick that right leg back. Jarabhadrasana three, if you have your block, or if you don't, or anything to elevate the earth, you can hold it here, okay? I want you to hold it here to engage your core. If you have things, you can leave your fingertips down onto the ground too. Now, hold it here. I want you to notice that standing leg, right? We're working on balance here. Notice your standing leg. If it's slightly bending, allow yourself to lengthen it straight, charge it straight and hold it here. Now take notice of your core. Right, we're supporting our low back. So draw your belly button up towards the spine to support. Allow your gaze to be down. Untuck your chin and hold it here. So your floating leg, flex that right foot. Toes pointed down and breathe. If you have more space, space, bring your hands to prayer. Lengthen them overhead in front, okay? If you have space, otherwise, just study your body, recognize the value, the worth, and where you are along your journey. Breathe in love. And as you exhale, slowly re-bend that front leg, touch down the back toe, come into high lunge here. One more inhale, reach up. Exhale, come back into that forwarded half warrior three here. Now bring your left hand about a foot diagonally. We're gonna open up into half moon, okay? 
So again, standing leg straight. Start to rotate your hips open. Bring your right hand to your heart and slowly draw your right hand up towards the sky. Uh, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Hold it here. Breathe in. Spread your fingers wide. Celebrate the wobbles, the shakes. Inhale. And as you ask, I'll slowly rotate your hips to face the earth. Rebend that front leg, touch down. And again, plant your palms. Go through vinyasa, optional, or you can meet in downward facing dog. You can skip the vinyasa, or you can just meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot to the outside of the right left hand. The right foot to the outside of the right hand. We're gonna come back into our squat one more time, okay? Breathe here, lift your heart. Root down, full breath in. And as you exhale, slowly hinge forward and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Shrug your shoulders up and down one more time. Inhale, up and down, and heel toe. Your feet closer so that they're hip width. Draw your left knee up towards your chest. And when you're ready, we're gonna hinge forward, kicking that left leg out behind. Bring your hands either onto the earth, onto our fingertips, or onto blocks, okay? Now check back in with that standing leg as they're rooted down with intention. If you have space, you can bring your hands to prayer. Or you can lengthen them. One more breath in. Breath out. Oh, my God, just did. <laughs> That's okay. Bring yourself back up, right? Go ahead. One more inhale. And exhale. Slowly touch back down. Come into the high lunge. Reach up, nice stretch. And as you exhale, come back in and we're gonna transition into the half moon. So if you have a block, bring your block one foot to the right corner or your right hand. And then slowly open up your hips to face the long end of your mat. Bring your left hand to your heart and then reach up, extend for the thigh. Beautiful. Let it shake, let it wobble. One more breath in. And as you exhale, slowly come back down towards the earth. Touch down. Option to go through your vinyasa, chaturanga, high to low. Or you can skip it and meet in downward facing dog. Once you're in downward dog, let's everybody drop our knees, bring the big toes together, and sink down into child's pose for a moment here. Lengthen your arms above you. Take a moment to reset, reground, anchor yourself again. Soften your shoulder blades. Breathe in, long, full inhale. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. On your next inhale, go ahead and bring yourself to your knee. Okay? Your knee should be hip width. I'm gonna go at a diagonal here so you can see. Okay. We're gonna come into camel, but first we're gonna do half camel. If you have your blocks or anything you can use, you can set it on the outside of your ankle. Okay. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Now, in this pose, I want you to pretend there's an imaginary wall, or if you have an actual wall, you can do it against the wall too. You want to glue your hips and thighs to the wall as you do your back bend, okay? So slowly, we're just going to do one side at a time. Inhale, lengthen. Be mindful with your front hip, and then just release your left hand down towards the block or to your left heel, okay? This is opening up a nice stretch here. <sighs> Breathe it in. Reach that right arm as far as you can behind you and up and behind. Be in charge of your body. Breathe in space. One more inhale. And as you exhale, slowly sink down. Sweep your right arm over to the right side from the left and then reach up. 
and we'll do the other side. Right arm to your block or to your heel, and then left arm up towards the sky. Your hips, again, imagine it's being glued to that imaginary wall. Opening up your hips here. Breathe in fully. One more full breath in. And as you exhale, go ahead and sweep our arms, the left arm to right to the left. It's like a camel dancing, right? I think Teacher Mary calls this dancing camel. <laughs> One more time to the right side. And let's go ahead slowly. Just meet into the center so you can reach your arms up and sink down. Let yourself kind of give yourself a nice reset. Sink down. Take a moment here. Take a full breath in. So long and slow. Sink down here in this moment. Bring yourself back into this moment here. Recognize where you're at. And when you're ready, on your inhale, come back onto your knees. We're gonna go into full camel. If you don't have space, that's okay. You can practice doing half camel or you can just come into child pose. If you wanna try to do the full camel, you can use your blocks again, bring it to the outside of your ankle. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Again, your hips are glued to that imaginary wall. As you exhale, bring your hands to your low back, right about where the sacrum is, okay? We're gonna protect our low back here. All right, so your fingertips are pointed down and you may use your thumb to kind of feel that bone area right the top of your hip bones, right? Hold it here, breathe in. And as you exhale, slowly hinge. Again, your hips are glued to that imaginary wall. Inhale, lengthen your sternum up. And as you exhale, keeping that sternum lifted like a balloon is tied to it, hinge back. And then let your head be the last thing to follow. If you have space for your hands to reach either the block or your heel, go ahead and do so. If you don't, that's okay. And if you notice that when you're grabbing your heels, you're falling backwards, again, glue your hips to that imaginary wall. And again, breathe here. You can even close your eyes. breath in and when you want to come out back to your low back slowly come out of the pose and then sink down into varasana here a pose here okay so now you can practice that again if you wish otherwise you can come into child pose bring the big toes together knees wide and come into child's pose so see, ask yourself, be intentional with your actions. If you wanna practice camel again, again, bring your hands to your low back, glue your hips to that imaginary wall. And as you bend, I want you to imagine your sternum is tied to a balloon. You wanna lift, keep that sternum lifted as you bend back, okay? And then release your hand last. And then when you want to come back out of it, bring your hands back to your low back and slowly with control. All right, you guys are amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and just all take a child pose, a couple more breaths here in child pose. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, let's go ahead, come to tabletop. Cross at the ankles, sit back and lengthen your legs out in front of you. Sit up nice and tall. If you notice your spine is rounding a bit too, you can sit on a blanket to kind of lengthen and elevate your hips. Inhale, the arms wide, reach up towards the sky. And as you exhale, hinge forward. Oh, that feels good, right? And again, yoga is not about perfecting the pose, about being super flexible. So if your hands can only be here along your shin, acknowledge it and accept it and breathe in some love and compassion and know that you are strong. 
This is just where your journey is taking you. This is just where you are at, but it is not the end. So take a moment to recognize where you are along your journey, cultivate some courage and accept that you are strong and you are going places. And in order to go places, you got to start somewhere. And this is where you're at. Soften your shoulders as you hold here in this moment. And allow yourself to give yourself some good, good loving. Take another inhale here. And as you ask, so go ahead and bend the knees. And we're going to come all the way down to our back. Hug your knees in. Rock side to side. You can even close your eyes if that feels good. And then go ahead, inhale, open your arms out into a T if you have space. <laughs> and then you, let's go ahead and drop both knees to the left side. Final twist here. Your gaze can be up towards the sky or it can be over to the opposite side. And now notice, if your knees are lifted, you can tuck something, a blanket between the knees to support you. Um, and if you, the higher you bring your knees towards your chest, you'll notice you'll create more space along your low back. So take a full inhale and allow that breath to create space, more space along your back body, along, down through your legs and toes, and allow that breath to soften your front body. Soften your shoulders and breathe here. Slowly take another inhale and bring your knees back to center. And then we'll gently, with control, let them drop to the right side. And again, your gaze can be up towards the side or over to the left side. And notice how is this side compared to the other side. And without any judgment, I want you to breathe in, I am healing and I am whole. I am perfect just the way I am. And this is just you being human, right? Breathe here. Allow the air to restore what is holding you from letting go. Allow the breath to soften any gripping along your body. Take another full breath in and slowly come back towards the center. And then lengthen your legs up towards the sky and then point and flash your feet. Spreading your soles open, giving you the bottom of your feet a nice stretch as you flex them. You can even go slow. And as you point your toes, noticing the stretching of the front, the tops of your feet, right? So our feet are important because they're the foundation of our entire body, our ankle, our knees, our hips, our shoulders, right? So it all starts with foundation. You can circle your ankle one direction and then alternate direction. Again, notice your breath. Are you breathing? <laughs> One more breath in. And as you exhale, bend the knees and draw them closer to your armpits and then grab the outer edges as we come into happy baby pose. Continue to open up our hips, right? A lot of us, since we're working with computers, we're at our desk often. So let's open up our hips. So allow some breath, some space. By opening up our hips and stretching them out, we're also kind of strengthening our low back area, our shoulders. You can rock side to side, or you can even lengthen, alternate lengthening one leg, bending the other, right? Just taking notice of what feels good for your body. Your body is very smart. It'll tell you what it needs. But in order to know what your body needs, you need to pause and take notice, right? You need to slow down. Go ahead on your next inhale, bring the knees in, hug it tightly, hug it tightly. Full breath in. 
And as you exhale, gently lengthen the right leg down towards the right corner of the mat. The left leg towards the left corner of the mat. Allow your arm to lengthen alongside your palm facing up. Gently tuck your shoulder blades slightly under to keep the heart lifted. Take a full breath in, lift the head. And as you exhale, gently place the head back down. Inhale once more. And as you exhale, allow your eyes to soften to a close and release and melt into the earth as we come to the last pose of our practice, the vasana. Take a couple of breaths here, allowing yourself to come back to this natural state of breathing. Allow your eyebrows to smooth out. Allow your cheeks to soften. Create space along your jaw and release the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Let your chest fall a little bit heavier down towards the earth. Allow your fingers naturally curl in slightly. Let gravity take hold of your hips and let it draw it closer to the earth. And allow that love to shine and thrive and flourish through you as you let go completely in this moment. And know that you are deserving of love just like everybody else. So take this moment to channel that in. And whatever thoughts arise, recognize them as they are. And instead, Bring your attention back to your breath to create space between those thoughts and recognize your value. Your love, your value is your love. It's to spread and share your uniqueness with the world. Take another smooth inhale into the nose and exhale out. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and on your next inhale, reach your arms overhead. Give yourself one final stretch, open up the heart. And as you exhale, bring the knees in, hug and celebrate this moment. Acknowledge and thank yourself for showing up. Keeping the eyes closed, go ahead and roll onto either side in fetal position and pause there for a moment. Allow yourself to remind you of that thing or person you are grateful for. And as you pause here, allow that to flourish through you. Allow it to draw the corners of your mouth up and smile. Keeping the eyes closed when you're ready, gently press yourself up to a seated position. Sit up nice and tall, be proud with dignity. Allow your hands to rest on your knees or on your lap. Take a smooth breath in through the nose, lift the heart. And slow, long exhale out. One more time, inhale fully. And long exhale out. Let's bring our hands Left hand to your heart, right hand on top of the left. Take notice of this beautiful, beautiful heart of yours. And inside of that is that love, strength, and beauty, and light. Take a moment to acknowledge and allow that to illuminate and radiate out through you. Let's bring our palms together to heart center. 
Bring your attention back to your gratitude. What are you grateful for? How are you going to show up? And remember and recognize all the blessings around. Thank you for sharing this practice with me. May love, peace, joy thrive inside you. May you feel it. May you live it. And may you share it with the world. Namaste.